So hopefully he heard the bell. Yes, I think so. Because sometimes I think when the loudspeakers are going, it's, it's really hard to hear that little bell. But now I think he did. And he needs, come on, William, get with it. He's coming around. He's going to be pushing it also to the, no, he's okay. Made it with six seconds to spare. Not quite, quite straight in the hall. The hindquarters are a little bit to the right. Um, Angela would be able to see that. Perhaps Wayne. I don't think Sue would see that from the side. It wasn't much out of line, but it, it certainly was not quite straight. And then into the um, into the medium, and, and just a little bit of a loss of rhythm there. He sort of puts one leg out more than the other. Not quite as smooth as some of the others we've seen. But again, you know, this is a true showman. You know, it's like Mary and everybody. They bring the horses in and they really show them off. But to me, this horse looks just a little bit wobbly behind. Not stepping evenly all the time. It's better now. But certainly on the circle, I was just looking at something there. It's just the way he moves one hind leg a little bit more inwards than the other one and it, it, it just looks a little irregular and not a huge amount of air time again it looks like he, he just needs to develop the strength behind again the rhythm the rhythm the rhythm is there They're seeing what I'm seeing too, is that just every now and again there's a little, almost a little hitch in his get along, as it were. And it, and it, and just one side not quite as even as the other. And I say that's the first thing you consider is the gate regular? And if it's not regular, then you don't have the baseline to work on. It's a lovely walk really comes out of his shoulders. And a very smooth transition back to the medium. Very nicely done. Whoops, and then we had the halt and then he moved forward and then got a very good halt, but it, it, it took a couple of steps. Very very precise backing and into the canter promptly. Just get another mark for the canter here. And then we have the extended canter. And this horse looks like it should cover ground. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And the change with the end. It could have been a little sooner, but that's all right. And these horses coming to this level, it's it's quite... Oh, there's a smart piece of riding. He really cut that counter canter loop a little bit. He didn't make it quite as round as it should be. He just made it easier for the horse. That's a good piece of riding, but um, hopefully the judges are sharp-eyed still at this point in the day. Conservative, perhaps in the medium. Let's see how the changes go. Yeah, well, yeah. That, that was a little bit forced. It, it didn't flow easily through. I mean, he got it, but it wasn't that sort of, you know, just happening. Those are quite tight, tight turns to do in counter counter, and on a big horse, it's quite difficult. That change is good, it's the other change that's not so good. However, that would be managed that one quite nicely. So he's going to be within striking distance, but he's not going to take the lead. Not on this, but 
It's what happens tomorrow that makes all the difference. And then it's never over until that last show jump gets jumped without falling over. Well, it's been great fun doing this again. Um, I'm glad to be back. Um, the stewarding is exhausting. This is much more fun, really. And this is where my heart is, I think. And if I can help make it, you know, more interesting for you guys, that's what I'm here for. And hopefully there'll be many more years. Um, it's really been a treat to be able to try and help you understand why the judges give the marks they do in the preside. So, 